Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Donkey. Welcome to another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. So once again, thank you all very much for your votes on the previous episode for which gun you'd like to see me use next. It looks like the combat shotgun got the most votes, so that's the gun we'll be looking at today. So as always, I will start off by showing you guys the sights and scopes available for the combat shotgun. So first of all, just the standard sights, as per usual. Uh, and then we have the front ring. Uh, which I, I like this one. It's a, it's similar to well, it's the same as the uh, combat rifle. Essentially, it's the same gun except the shotgun version, of course. Uh, then we have the glow sights, which are actually really glowy because it's quite dark in the game right now, and you can really clearly see them, so that's quite good. Uh, we have the reflex sight dot, reflex sight circle, of course, as well. And then we have the scopes. I'm not going to bother showing off all of them because it's always the same. There's the short scope, medium scope, long scope, and then there's the uh, night vision, the same short, medium, and long. And then there's recon scope, short and long. But we've seen these so many times, I'm not going to put this on a shotgun. So I'm not even going to bother showing you guys. So before we can get to upgrading, let's have a quick look at the short combat shotgun in action. So uh, as we've seen with previous guns before as well, it, this weapon basically... Completely unupgraded, uh, it's called a short combat shotgun. If you change the short barrel into a long barrel, it becomes a regular uh, combat shotgun. But the short barrel is the standard uh, for this weapon, so that's why I've put it on there. So anyway, um, it, it, it's uh, obviously it's a shotgun, so it's always only going to be very good in close range. And uh, I am, of course, still playing on survival when I do these uh, Weapons of the Wasteland videos. So I do take a fair bit of damage, so it's always a bit uh, tricky to get in there and, and try and do as much damage, but this definitely wasn't as difficult to do with this weapon as it was with the um, uh, double barrel shotgun. That, that I definitely remember having a lot more trouble when uh, doing the Weapons of the Wasteland video on that gun rather than uh, with this one. It, it's just it's a lot better, that's for sure. It, obviously, I don't have to reload every two shots, so that really makes a big difference. And you can see the weapon does fairly well, um, just unupgraded already, and in VATS it even nearly takes care of the Super Mutant, which is quite good. So now we've seen the short combat shotgun in action, it's time to perform our first upgrade. So this gun will require gun at rank 2. Um, I pro probably could actually make this gun, or have this gun go into several episodes, like two episodes, and then just have eight guns that I show off instead of just the four. Uh, because there's there's quite a few, or quite a bit of variety, uh, and a lot of the... Um, a lot of the, re the, the uh, like the stocks, for example, magazine, etc., they unlock um, at gun up rank three or like the better versions anyway. Um, but it's not it's not as bad as with the assault rifle, for example, where I like there's just too much. The shotgun will always remain a shotgun. Like it doesn't you can't really turn it into a sniper or something. So there was going to be similar enough for me to just show off like four of them. So that's why I'm skipping basically the no requirement uh, and gun up one uh, gun up rank one requirements and just go straight to gun up rank two just so i can show you um a few of the combinations but i'm not going to go into like i'm not going to make too many of them anyway let's uh actually start working on this weapon so our first upgrade is the armor piercing automatic receiver uh we know what it does it improves the rate of fire and uh, has arm penetration so um, the thing with this gun is that you can see it's an uh, automatic weapon, but the fire rate only goes up from 20 to 23. The, the f fact that it's automatic isn't really that amazing on this gun. However, it also doesn't reduce the damage, whereas like on most weapons, if you make it automatic, it reduces the damage by a lot. Uh, in On the, sh the combat shotgun, if you make it automatic, it doesn't actually reduce the damage. So basically, it just adds armor piercing and it makes it a slightly fire, higher fire rate. The, um, Range and accuracy go down a little bit, but it's not really anything to worry about. For the barrel, we're going to go for the long barrel. Superior range, better recoil, and a narrow spread just makes the gun a lot more accurate at slightly longer ranges. Uh, for the stock, we are going to go for a uh, marksman stock, um, because the full stock and the marksman stock are essentially better. This one gives better aim with scopes, which is not, um, sorry, not essentially uh, the same. They're, this one is much better than the full stock. Um, it does require a few more um, materials, but it's it's just it's better. Like this one gets better recoil. This one gets superior recoil. The better aim with scopes is not going to come into play because we're not going to be using scopes. But superior recoil over better recoil is just good enough to take. Um, for our magazine, we're going to go for a. Let's see, what am I looking at here? Uh, a drum magazine. Sorry. Exceptional ammo capacity, obviously we know what it is, but uh, this this makes it so you essentially, like in a lot of firefights, you're probably never going to have to reload. So I could actually also go for um, a medium magazine or a quick eject mag, but I think like gun rank requirements too, we may as well just go for a drum magazine. Uh, I think the quick eject mag is not important enough. I think having just as many shots as you want essentially is, is much better than being able to faster reload now. Um, for our sights, we're just going to go for a reflex side circle. 
And muzzle, I'm gonna leave open. I'm actually gonna leave them op it is open on every single one of the guns because I feel like the range and accuracy are already so low. You can't really well actually decrease the accuracy, but only by one or by a few. Um, but the range is already so low. You can't really afford to lower it even more by putting a compensator muzzle brake or your Earl Arts bayonet on there. I think it's just not it's not worth it. The recoil isn't that big a deal in uh, with this gun, um, so I think it's just not really necessary. So that's why I'm gonna leave it open. So anyway, that's the Marksman's Armor-Piercing Automatic Combat Shotgun. So let's find out how the Marksman's Armor-Piercing Automatic Combat Shotgun does an action. So obviously this gun doesn't have a whole lot more over the previous gun, but uh, at least stat-wise, uh, the damage is still 50. Uh, I didn't actually go over the, the, the stats just now, but yeah, damage is 50, which is uh, the same on the previous gun. Fire rate's gone up to 23 because it's automatic now instead of 20, but again, that really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Um, the range 61, uh, I mean it's a shotgun, it's not going to have very much range. Accuracy 49 also, because it's a shotgun, doesn't have a whole lot of range. You can see it took care of the super mutant there a lot faster than before though, and also because it's of course uh, much better now, armor piercing and fats, it also takes care of the enemy with no trouble whatsoever. So now we've seen the Marksman Armor Piercing Automatic Combat Shotgun in action. It's time to perform some more upgrades. So this gun will require gun at rank 3. For a receiver, we're going to go for a calibrated powerful receiver. So this ups the damage from 50 to 75. Really big improvement. I mean, 50% extra basically. So superior damage and better critical shot damage and accuracy as well. So this gun uh, just does ridiculously well in VATS. You'll see it as well in, in the actual uh, VATS in a minute in, in the, the gameplay. Um, for our barrel, we're going to go for a long ported and shielded barrel. Um, which gives a superior recoil and range as a narrow spread. So basically similar to the long barrel, except it has superior recoil instead of better recoil. Um, just generally, it's the best option. I think a short, uh, it just gives superior recoil, but it's just not like, this gives so much more, you know. It just, there's no real reason to go for a short port and a shielded barrel. Um, for the stock, we're going to go for a recoil compensating stock. Uh, just as exceptional recoil. Makes sense. For our magazine, we're going to go for a quick eject drum mag. So this is basically yeah, the drum magazine. The same reasoning as, be as before. It's just a massive amount of ammo before you have to reload and also a quick eject. Why not? For the sights, we're going to go for the reflex sight. Uh, I'm going to put this on every single one of them because I'm not going to put a scope on. And besides, like for the sights, this is my favorite one and I'm not going to put a scope on. So this makes sense. Uh, muzzle, once again, I'm leaving open, just like I said with the last one as well. I just don't think you can afford to lose any more range uh, on this weapon, so that's why I'm leaving that open. So that is the Recoil Compensated Calibrated Powerful Combat Shotgun. So let's find out how the Recoil Compensated Calibrated Powerful Combat Shotgun does an action. Now we're really getting into the, the awesomeness of this shotgun. It just absolutely blasts enemies away. You don't have to really even get that close anymore. Uh, 75 damage now, so that's uh, 25 extra than the previous gun, which is a pretty big improvement. Uh, 20 fire rate, 71 range, uh, so the fire rates once again, because it's not, it's a, it's a semi-auto again, basically. It's um, a regular shotgun, no more uh, automatic. 71 range and 60 accuracy is actually a decent for a shotgun. You can see there in VAT to take care of the super moon with no issue, because of course it has a calibrated uh, powerful receiver. So now we've seen the recoil compensated calibrated powerful combat shotgun in action standard performance from well the final upgrades. So for this one, you uh, the requirements are a gun at rank four. Um, it's actually exactly the same as the previous gun, except for our uh, a powerful automatic receiver. So this is also the only thing that requires gun at rank four. Um, it has superior damage, improved rate of fire, and inferior range. So it basically um, it's. I was I really wanted to show off the our advanced receiver as well because it has the highest damage uh, base uh, out of any of these upgrades that you can make, um, but that would require like going into a, an, an extra video because I there's just too many I wanted to show off basically. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go for the powerful automatic receiver. So it's the same damage as the previous one, uh, but it has uh, improved rate of fire. Um, however, it does not have the uh, cr better critical shot damage, so there, there's there's something to say for the calibrated powerful receiver being better than the powerful automatic receiver, just because the um, the fire rate, like I said, extra free and it being automatic really isn't that big a deal. So anyway, for a barrel, we're gonna go for a por uh, long ported and shielded barrel. For a stock, we're gonna go for a recoil compensating stock magazine, quick eject drum mag, sights, reflex sight. Like I said, it's gonna be the exact same gun besides that as the previous one. So that is the Recoil Compensated Powerful Automatic Combat Shotgun. Our final weapon, the Recoil Compensated Powerful Automatic Combat Shotgun. As I said though, very similar to the previous shotgun, but uh, still different enough to be worth showing off. The damage is the same. Fire rate's gone up to 23 again because it's once again automatic. 
um, and the range 59, accuracy 54, a little bit lower than the previous one. Um, but it, it's it's not much, it's not necessarily worse. It's just a, it's a little bit different. Um, anyway, it, it takes care of all the enemies uh, just as well as the previous one. However, in VATS, because it's not calibrated, it actually doesn't take care of the super mutants with uh, the shots available to it, which is quite surprising. Let's have a quick look at the comparison for the combat shotgun. Uh, once again, there were surprises, the last gun doing the best, the first gun doing the worst. Overall though, they were pretty close together, so from a close distance at a stationary target, they're all fairly similar, which is good. Thank you all once again for watching another episode of Weapons of the Wasteland. Please let me know which weapon you'd like to see me use next, and until then, have a good day and goodbye.